this coming week. Now, models sometimes struggle with August cold fronts, so things could change a little bit, but that's how it's looking right now, and that's what we're thinking for next week. Another nice thing to talk about is nothing happening in the tropics. Our tropical cyclone or tropical system frequency, of course, goes up pretty quickly from July and through the month of August, and then a big spike on September 10th is the peak day of the season, then a pretty rapid drop off as we move toward the second part, of course, of hurricane season. So kind of cool that we've made it now through two months, including, you know, the last day of July today. We will see more activity, of course, moving into August and September, but we are making our way steadily through hurricane season at least. And looking at those names, by the way, we have made it through the first five. The next on the list would be Fred, Grace, Henri, Ida, and Julian. We're not seeing any signs of that across the Atlantic right now, though. We've shown our Saharan dust map many days, showing that dry, dusty air across the Atlantic basin. And so that plus some just kind of stable uh, 